Come on, he's the pimply pal. We are right, cross Collie and pimply pal. They're staying to the crunch. The music started. Harry, Harry printed friends down the Azu after Polly. Everyone stood up. Harry beam, beamed and bowed and at waved. He, he was King Harry the Horrible, smiling, grass, dracosholy, and at his cheering subject before the top of their hands. As he danced along, he, he stepped on Polly's wrong tra tra trailing dress, ripped. Ick! <coughs> quickly, Prissy Polly. Part of Polly's train lay. Lay bed beneath Harry's modest stained shoe. shoe. That dress was too wrong anyway, thought Harry. He picked the fabric out of, of, the, of the way and stomped, stomped it out of the edge of the, the, bar, the braid, groom, best man, and page boys assembled in front of me. Minister Henry stood and stood and stood. The minister droned on and on and on. Harry's arm holding up the cushion began to ache. This is boring, said Henry, jiggling in wings on the cushion. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, said Harry, I'm good at green tossing. The ring bounced. The minister groaned. groaned. Henry was a famous pancake chef, to tossing the pa pancake higher and higher and higher. Clank, clunk. The ring slowed down the elso and va vanished down a sm small grate. Oops, thought Henry. May I ha have the rings, please? said minister. Everyone looked. At Henry, he's got them," said Henry. "This pretty pointing of it, Peter. I have not," sobbed Peter. Henry reached into the into his pocket. He found found two pieces of old chewing gum, some gravel, and and his rocky pirate ring. Here, use this," he said. At last, at last, Pimply Power and Tracy Polly were. Married, cross calling handed Henry and Peter a basket of pink and yellow rose petals peach. Throw the petals in front of the bride and groom as as they walk back down the aisle, whispered Colin. I will, said Peter. Peter, he scattered the pe petals before Pimply Power and Prissy Polly. So will I," said Henry. He held a hand, handful of petals in Pimply Paul's face. Watch it, you little brat," sneered the Paul. "Windy, isn't it?" said Henry. He held another handful of petals at Polly. "Ex!" squeaked Prissy Polly. Everyone. Outside for photographs, that the photograph for, for Henry loved having his picture taken. He dashed out pictures of of the bride and groom first. Said said the photographer. Henry jumped in in front. Click. Henry picked from the side. Click. Henry stuck out his tongue. Click. Henry made horrible rude faces. Click. This way to the reception," said Cross Club. The wedding party was held in a nervous Mer hotel. The the adults did nothing but talk and eat, talk and drink, talk and eat. Perfect Peter sat at the table and ate his lunch, or Henry sat under the under the table and poked pe people's rag. He crowded around and scratched some toes. Then Henry got bored and drifted into the next room. 
There was the wedding cake standing on, on the table. It was the most beautiful. He broke over Marcel dropped into mouse. Huh oh boy Wow The icing tasted tasted great. Perhaps just one more bite, said Henry. If I take it from the back, no one will notice. Wow. Harry stood back the cake. It took little even now that with the rose meat missing from button. Then a, then a strange thing happened. In me whispered the cake. Go on who, who was Harry to ignore such a request? He picked out a few combs from the bag. Delicious, thought Harry. Then he he took a few more and a few more. Then he dug out a nice big chunk. What do you think you are doing? shouted Pimply Paul. Henry ran round the cake table. Paul and ran after him. Round and round and round the cake the cake they ran. Just wait till I get my had on you, snailed Pimply Poe. Harry dashed under the, under the table. Pimply Poe ranked for him and missed Splat. Pimply Poe fell had first on the cake. <coughs> Henry, Henry slipped away. P Prissy Poe ran into the room. Except she shrieked. Wasn't that a lovely wedding? Sighed Mom on, on the way home. F funny they didn't have a cake. So, oh yes, said that. Oh yes, said Peter. Oh yes, said Henry. I'll be glad to be a pet boy anytime. Okay, everyone. Subscribe button and write button, please. Everyone, say goodbye.